What's going on? Oh, look, there's a little chipmunk peeking out. And look at the squirrel. Isn't he cute? Yes. I oh, look, Roman, the boys and girls have come. Let's say good morning to them. Good morning, boys and girls. How are you today? We're so glad you've come and joined our Sabbath school here in Tennessee. We're going to start out this morning by getting some sticks. So if you have some sticks, let's see if I can find where I stuck them. <laughs> They're in this pocket, I think. If you have some sticks or if you have some wooden spoons, you can get those from your mom. You might also want to find a bell that will be ringing in just a little bit. And we'll be telling you some more of what we're going to do today. So let's grab our sticks right now and let's sing our TikTok song. Will you sing with me this morning? Be quiet and listen to you hear the clock. Be quiet and listen to the Sabbath song clock. If you have a bell that you can ring, or if you have a couple of spoons that you can clank together, anything like that would be great. Or get your daddy's keys maybe and ring them like, um, like a bell. That would work too. Let's ring our bells while we sing, shall we? <laughs> Today. So let's see, who do we have watching today? Uh, 
Everly is watching, I hope, with her uh, brother Jax. Who fin, else? Fin, 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 Finley and Annie. Hi, Finley and Annie. I hope you're watching. Who else might there be? Well, there might be Oliver and Lila. Hi, guys. And Brielle. I hope you're watching today. Hello, Cheyenne. I'm happy to see you this morning. And how about Kim and her little baby sister? Hope you're here today. And Regan, I hope you're watching us today. And who else? Easton, I hope you're tuned in this morning and have your backpack ready. Let's see, and now these are friends that live all across the United States that we've gotten to know. First, I want to say hi to Kaylin and Colton. How are you guys doing today? Gunner lives here, but somehow I've got him on the wrong list. So hi, Gunner. Sorry I missed you. Evelyn and Erica, do you want to say hi to them? Hi, <laughs> Say it again. Hi, Evelyn and Erica. And Titus and Ade and Winston. Glad you guys tune in all the way from Montana. Hi, River. You're not too far away from us. Glad you're watching. Maverick and Maddox over in North Carolina. Hope you're having a good day. And hi, Kylie and Colton. Hope you're having a wonderful Sabbath day. And then there's Rachel. We don't want to forget her. She's right in our area, too. Glad you're here, Rachel. And Rose, you're not that far away from us. Glad to see you, Rose. And then we have two new special friends. Do you remember who they are? Uh, Nathaniel. Na 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 Nathaniel. And Andrew. And Andrew. Hi, guys. So glad you're joining, a, joining us from North Carolina. And Drake and Marcy. We are so glad you're with us. I'm happy for every boy and girl, aren't you, Roman? I am too. All right, boys and girls, let's go to our memory verse for today. Our memory verse is, the lesson itself is about Elijah. When God fed him at the brook Cherith, and then when he went to Zarephath, and the widow fed him, and our memory verse says, can you say it after me, Roman? And boys and girls, you help too. Bread will be given him. Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. His water will be sure. Isaiah 33, 16. Isaiah. I, Isaiah. 33. 33. 16. 16. Great job. I hope you're memorizing that one, boys and girls. All right, boys and girls, let's sing our memory verse song. I'm glad you learned it this week. Let's sing together and clap our hands. Are you ready? I'm glad I know my Shall we look and see? In the forest, in the forest, there are so many wonderful things to see. In the forest, in the forest, I learn of Jesus' love for me. Okay, boys and girls, let's go on a hike. Don't you think that would be fun? And let's go see what Jesus made. So, Roman, can you go get the backpack out of the tent? And let's put it on if you have a backpack at home. 
You can take it and put it on or just pretend. Put that backpack on and let's go for a walk and see what Jesus made. We're going on a Let's go off on our hike again. We're going on a hike along the forest trail. Singing 
you find this time, Roman? Bears. Bears. A bear family. Look at that. Mama bear and two little cubs. That is so special. Now, if this was a real bear, Roman, would you go running up and pick up the baby bears and bring them to me? No, that would be dangerous because Mama Bear would probably not be very happy. But because these are pretend bears, we don't have to worry about that. Boys and girls, I'll bet each of you have a bear. If you want to run and quickly get a bear, we're going to pet our bears together while we sing our song about how Jesus made the fuzzy wuzzy bears. Or you can give it a big hug like Roman's giving this one a hug. Are you ready to sing with me? Jesus takes care of fuzzy wuzzy bears. So mother is going to call. She's going to call and say, come on, it's time to come. It's time to eat. Come to the campfire. So when your mother calls boys and girls, what should you do? What should you do, Roman? You should come running just like that. I love that you came running right over and I hadn't even called you yet. So let's get ready. Boys and girls, you get on one side of the room. Your mom and dad can be on the other side of the room. And have your mom or dad call you. Let's see if you can obey and do what they ask you to do, just like Roman came running so quickly, shall we? Okay, Roman, go back over there, and you can come running when we sing. something special for you and that's why she called. She wants you to come to the campfire. So if you have a little flashlight somewhere, you might want to run and get it really quick. Roman's going to get our flashlights because it's going to get dark while we're at the campfire and we might need that to get back to our tent. So here I've got my big flashlight. Roman has his little flashlight. And we're going to take them with us over to the campfire. You know what? I might not need it now, though. It's not quite dark. Shall we get our flashlights and go to the campfire? Campfire. Would you like to take our bowls back and put them in the tent for us? 
Well, boys and girls, after we have our nice supper around the campfire, Dad or Mom, can you get the Bible running from the tent? Dad or Mom might say, it's time for worship. Oh, I love Sandown worship. And we can get our Bibles. And Mom or Dad can read a story. And we can learn more of what Jesus has for us to do in our lives, can't we? And reading that Bible that God gave us will help us to be ready for him when he comes to take us home to heaven. So, let's get our Bibles. You might have your own little Bible there, your moms and dads, and let's gently hold them and look at them while we sing our song. Shall we? Can you swing your arms around? 
your Bible story? Let's see. I can sit right down like this, like this, so I can sit right down with Jesus gave me that way. And that's the story of Daniel. Oh, hi, boys and girls. Who sends the sunshine? Who sends the rain showers? Today, we're going to be learning about Elijah. Come on, let's learn. God needed a brave man to be his helper. But the king was doing bad things, and the people were doing bad things. Jesus said to Elijah, Tell the king that it isn't going to rain for three whole years. Can gardens grow if it doesn't rain? Let's talk to our farmer in the field. Uh, I'm a farmer, and this is my garden. Plants need water to grow. Thanks for that report. Soon, there wouldn't be any food. Elijah went bravely to where the king lived. It will not rain for three years. Who is that man? Go get him! But God told Elijah where to hide, and the king couldn't find him. Where's Elijah? He was beside a brook of water. Where would he find food to eat? Elijah must have been surprised when morning came. Big birds, called ravens, flew down right out of the sky to where Elijah was, and they brought him breakfast, all ready for him to eat. And when morning came, the ravens came again. Did Elijah like the food that the ravens brought him? I think he did. He was probably raving about it. Every day, Elijah had food to eat, and he had water to drink. Every day the sun shone, but did it ever rain? No, it did not rain. The leaves on the bushes and the trees all turned brown and dry and fell off. And soon the creek became smaller and smaller and smaller until one day there was no more water in the creek. Had Jesus forgotten Elisha? No. I want you to go to another country close by, Jesus told him. A widow lady will feed you and let you stay in her home. So Elijah walked in the hot sun along the dusty road to the place where Jesus told him to go. When he saw a widow lady and her son picking up sticks, he spoke to her. Please give me a drink of water and some bread to eat. I swear by the Lord your God, I don't have a single bread to share. I only have a handful of flour and a little cooking oil. Don't be afraid. Do what you said first, but make a little bread for me. The poor widow chose to trust Jesus and be unselfish. She let Elijah stay in her home until the three years of no rain were finished. Did Jesus keep his promise to feed them every day? Yes, he did. Every day there was just enough flour and just enough oil to make enough food so that they were never hungry. When the three years were finished, Jesus told Elijah to go tell the king that the rain came again. The green leaves came back on the trees and bushes. The grass was green again. Beautiful flowers grew again. The gardens grew again. People were happy. Are you happy you can trust Jesus to take care of us? And just like Elijah and the widow, trust Jesus to take care of you too. Wasn't that an awesome story, boys and girls? I want to thank the Love family for doing that for us this week. We'll have to have them do it again. They do an awesome job. We want to say our memory verse now at the close of our Sabbath school. So will you say it after me again today? Bread will be given him. Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. His water will be sure. Isaiah 33. His, uh, Isaiah 33. 
Isaiah 33. Verse 16. Verse 16. Very good. That's a wonderful promise from Jesus to us. And now, boys and girls, let's bow our heads. We're going to have our prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for being with us in our Sabbath school today. Thank you for taking care of us all week long, for keeping us healthy and safe. And we love you so much, Jesus. We can't wait to see you. Thank you for being with us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, we've had a wonderful time in Sabbath school, haven't we? And now it's time for us to be on our way to watching church. So let's say goodbye to each other for this week, and we'll sing our goodbye song together, and then we'll see you next week, okay? Our Sabbath school is...